Okay, so hi everyone on uh, Baba Girl. We are here with uh, John Ogu, the defensive midfielder of the Super Eagles, previously in uh, Apoel Be'er Sheva, Israel. John, uh, how was your AFCON experience? Uh, I know you still have the third uh, place game, but this long month is coming to an end and there was a preparation before. How do you feel? Um, well, yeah, um, like you said, you know, um, it was a real tough and strong preparation for us, you know, before the AFCON. We, you know, we made sure that we, you know, had to work hard, you know, to, you know, to be here. And, um, you know, we started the game well. We won two games, and then we lost in, against Madagascar after qualifying. Um, you know, we go into the second round. We won against Cameroon, and then we won against um, um, South Africa to get into the semi-final today um, that we had yesterday. But unfortunately, we didn't make it to the final. But um, you know, um, we're proud of our efforts. We're proud of our work. Out of the old 24 teams that made that made it to the Nations Cup, we were part of the four teams that are, that are left. But um, you know, we as Nigerians, you know, we we always want to, you know to, to be the best. You know, always want to you know be be champions in everything we do. Uh, we wanted to win this um, tournament, but you know, we played against a good side, um, Algeria. Um, you know, for me personally, it's been a great experience. You know, um, you know to be part of this bunch of you know talented players. You know, to be you know to be part of the squad is a blessing for me. Um, you know, I'm happy to be here. You know, but you know now we have a game against um, um, Tunisia for the top place. We want to leave here with this um, um, bronze medal. So um, we will start preparing for this game, you know, which is very important for us, and that's what we're going to do you know, in this game. You know. All right. After years that you've been well playing uh, in the Israeli league, which is a, a decent medium league in, in Europe, but basically that you felt that it's the best moment for you in in this Afcon. Um, yeah, I've been in, I've been in Israel for five years. You know. um, Israel has been um, an, an open door for me to you know to be back in the national team because I've, I've been out from the national team for for that like one year. Then when I moved to Israel, I started playing, and then um, I won titles, and you know the manager you know gave me the chance to you know to represent my country again. Um, you know um, I'm happy you know for everything that I achieved in Israel, but right now you know I'm looking forward you know to you know to a bigger challenges as because as a football player I'm always you know, open for challenges. Um, and um, now I'm just you know trying to stay focused after the Afcon, and then um, I'll see you know what my future has for me. You know. Is there any interesting offers or ideas? Or is there certain leagues you are aiming for, or certain type of clubs? Well, to be honest with you, I'm a football player that wants to play in big clubs. You know, I mean, I mean, I found myself in Israel today. I mean, because of destiny. You know, I mean, if you had, if you had asked me, you know, six years ago, if I would, if I would love to play in Israel, I'd tell you no. You know, but. Um, I moved to a team that you know showed me love from day one, and then you know winning winning the league ahead of teams like uh, Maccabi Tel Aviv, um, Maccabi Haifa three years in a row. Apoel Tel Aviv it says a lot about you know the effort you know we, we you know we put in you know, to achieve all the success. But you know, um, like I said, you know, I'm just trying to stay focused you know t until after the Afcon, and then I you know look for where to go for my career. But my agent is working in a lot of calls from different countries, you know. Who wants my services? But I'm just want to stay focused right now. And then after the game on Wednesday, uh, we, you know, start you know, thinking about where I want to play. But I still want to play, you know, in top clubs and you know, in top leagues. I feel like I still have that um, energy and strength, you know, to play there. Um, and I'll see what my agent comes up with you know, after you know the, the the game on Wednesday. Yeah, and uh, basically, you know, I I know you used to play almost all the games in the, in the past five years of your team. Um, how was the experience not to be like the main man on the midfield? I, I bet you, it drove you crazy for, for a few times in the tournament. Yeah, I mean, you seem to know a lot about me, you know. Um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm a player that always, you know, wants to be on the pitch, you know, every, 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 every time. Like you said, you know, I'm, I'm always, you know, the type that likes to dominate. Uh, in Israel for five years, I played almost like um, 300 and something games or so. And you know, I'm used to you know, like you know, playing. That gave me that mentality to always want to win. But you know, the national team comes first. You know, the manager, you know, knows what he's doing. He's, the, he's, the, he's in best position to decide who to play and who not to play. Um, you know, I always want to play. You know, but I'm not that kind of player that would always want to question a manager or fight a manager if I'm not playing. But you know, as a football player, you know, we always want to play. We always want to be on the pitch. You know, it's a tough. Tough, tough situation for us as players, you know. But I just have to live, you know, to learn from this and you know, try to live with this, you know. But um, everywhere that I've gone to, everywhere that I've played, people that I've worked with, they will tell you that I'm not, I'm not a lazy player. I always want to be on the pitch. I always want to fight. I always want to help. 
I just want to add my experience and that, that. But if it's not open, you know, I'll just take it as um, life, you know, and you know, just keep, you know, try to stay focused and try to work hard and you know, try to be the best, you know, that that I, that I think that I am. So, but I just keep working at it. You know. I know you had a, a, a like a complicated year, also in the family manners. Taking this, taking the experience in the Afghan, taking the five years. What is the big dream for John Ogu for the continue of his career? The big, my big dream. Um, you know, I don't know, man. I'm just, you know, just trying to take everything as it comes and try to learn from this. For me, the Afcon is a big experience. This is my first Afcon. Um, I mean, I'm happy to be here, really, to, to represent my country. It's an honor. It's a privilege. Um, something that I will never joke with. Um, you know, like I said, we have a game on uh, Wednesday, which is very important. This is what we're looking forward to now. I hope to see you playing also on Wednesday, get some game time, of course. It's a long season coming to an end for you on Wednesday. If we need to pick the best moment, the worst, the craziest, because I know it was a difficult season in Apoel Beersheva for all the players, not only for you. Can you pick these five more? Let's say, okay, let's say three. The best, the worst, and the, the most crazy John moment of, of the season? Um, if you ask me, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a player that is always um, honest. Um, personal level, I think last year was, was, a, was a no-no for me. Um, as a team, our level were, were low. It was a no-no for us. We had so many ups and downs. We had so many, um, like Israelis call it, balagan. You know, like so many of this, you know. But... Um, I mean, if you ask me as a player, you know, I wasn't, I'm not really proud of, you know, everything that happened, you know, personally for me last season, you know, and, um, you know, I had my, my, my mom that was sick, you know, that came to Israel for treatment, you know, that really slowed me down as well. Um, you know, I, had, um, I was in a team where, you know, we had so many unhappy players, you know, and, you know, it was really tough for us, you know, and then, you know, we lost the league, you know, with so many, so many points, you know, against a, a, a good side like Maccabi Tel Aviv last season, you know, but, um, Quality-wise, we, we didn't have a problem. We had qualities in the team, you know, but unfortunately, you know, you know, football, if you're not settled inside, you know, it affects, you know, the team in general, you know. So if you ask me, you know, as a player, you know, I'm not really, I'm not proud of, you know, of my last season. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not proud of it. You know, it wasn't something to even talk about. You know. That's what I'm saying. You know, there's, uh, the only best moment for me as a player, you know, is, you know, to see my mom, you know, strong again, you know, after, you know, when she came to Israel, you know, she was like almost half dead, you know. But, well, you know, to see her strong is, a, is one of the best moments for me last season. And, um, you know, to, you know, to, to, you know, to, to, even with the bad season, to, you know, to make it to, to the Europa League playoff, you know, is something also to be proud of, you know. But, you know, as a team that has achieved, like, um, you know, what we achieved last four, five, four seasons ago, and to, you know, to go through what we went through last season, it was not something to talk about, you know. But me personally, I feel like, you know, I didn't, it wasn't enough, you know. It just, it just there's no no proud moment, you know, because we didn't win the league, we didn't win the cup, we didn't win this, nothing, we didn't win anything, we didn't, we didn't make it to Europe and all that, so it was a total, totally bad season for, you know. Is there something you want to say to the fans of Apoel Beersheva or is our Israeli audience? Ah, um, Apoel Beersheva, I mean, the fans are always, you know, always, they always be my heart, you know, forever, you know, they showed me love, you know, I had a real genuine love with them, um, they showed me support, you know, from day one, you know, um, I don't have anything against the fans. You know, I love them so much. I love the club, the president, the the, the CEO, the you know everyone that is related to Apoel Beersheva. They'll be in the, for my, in my heart forever, you know, because they they help me a lot, you know. Um, and to the audience, the fa the people in Israel, I miss them. To be honest, you know, Israel felt like like a home for me. You know, five years, you know, um, so many drama and everything, but you know, they still accepted me as a as a player and as a person, you know. But um, you know, the fans will always be, you know. In my heart, you know, I love them. I will never forget them, and I hope someday, you know, I would, you know, definitely go back there, stay in the, um, in the, in the, um, in the tribune, you know, supporting, you know, the guys playing and all that, you know, um, you know, everything they showed me, you know, you could tell from the from the last day against my my last game in the t in the team, you saw they showed me love, you know, they brought out, you know, so many things, you know, a, a, a memory I will never forget in my life, you know. But um, you know, football is sometimes not fair. You know, you just have to, you know, but to be honest, they know I wanted to stay, you know. The reason why I'm not in, in Israel is just because of the tax and everything, you know. I would have loved to stay in the country, you know, continue my football. I have so many people who look, who look up to me as well, you know, but, um, you know, um, 
It's just like a home now for me, you know, and I will never forget the country and I will, I will never forget the, um, the fans of Abu Shiva as well. These are exciting words. So, uh, 10 years from now, me and you, we're going to sit maybe in Cairo, maybe in another place. Uh, what would you tell me about the new chapter of your career or your career as a whole, man? Um, to be honest, it's a big question, I know, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I mean, to be honest, you know, 10 years from now, after my career, I just, I just need like a proper rest. And then, because um, I mean, 13 years you know, playing professional football, it's been up and I mean, up there, you know, today you're here. So it's been tough, you know, it's been, you know, it's been bad to, you know, for me. But I always won, you know, I'm a winner, you know. Um, but, you know, yeah, 10 years from, from now, I don't know. But I know I'll definitely be in football, you know, I'll definitely be in the sport. Football is my life. Football is something I love to do. Um, football has helped me. Football has taken me to places. Um, so, you know, from 10, 10 years from now, I don't know. I don't want to say I'll be a coach. I don't want to say I'll be a, a sport director or whatsoever. But I know I'll definitely be in football and um, and I'll still be the best, you know, if I'm if I'm in if I'm in the sports, you know. But um, like I said, you know, I'll be I'll be in the game, you know, I'll be in the game. So ah, that's great to hear, man. Thank you so much for this time, and I appreciate you nothing but like in the continue of your career, man. Thank you so much for your time. Hi, hi, one, two, it's good.